What up YouTube? I just had the idea for this video. I wanted to throw this one together about coffee mugs. Uh, we've been flipping stuff for about four, almost five years now. Uh, coffee mugs were one of my main things I was flipping for the longest time. I just wanted to show you a few uh, tips and tricks and what to look for on certain coffee mugs that uh, you can flip for a lot. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, most famous and basic one that everybody knows. Um, these are your standard uh, state and city Starbucks coffee mugs. Um, these ones, the best way to look these up is to look up Starbucks and then whatever the ounces is. This one is a 16 fluid ounces. Uh, I would put the word Florida in there. And then if you look at the very bottom of these mugs, it has a year on it. That one is a 2012. So I'd recommend putting these in. Um, I've had a lot of luck with these. I've been able to sell a lot of these that have the state or the city for about 25, 30 bucks a piece. I, I've sold them for a little bit more than that. Uh, like the international ones. I think I sold the Germany one for 40 at one point. So Starbucks, those ones, they're always uh, collectible. People are always buying those. Um, and if you Google, I believe, or go to eBay and search, um, you can check out the 2008 Seattle Starbucks mug. That one's a little uh, hint out there for you. That mug, there's a special one that is a Seattle mug that goes for about $200. So that one is just a, a be on the lookout for that one, a bolo. Um, some of the other ones that I kind of look for are like vintage sports ones like this one. Um, this is from Super Bowl XXIX. Again, it's going to have a date on there, 1995. It has the 1994 AFC champion uh, San Diego Chargers. These ones are vintage. Um, I've had a little bit of luck with these. I think I was selling them between 10 and 15 bucks, which is not bad when you can pick them up at most thrift stores right around 50 cents to $1.50. Uh, that's the most I spend on mugs generally, unless it's a, a Starbucks mug, then I will spend about four or five bucks a mug. Um, also, another brand, um, I think we all recognize this one to look out for is Disney. Um, pretty much anything Disney, not just coffee mugs, but pretty much anything Disney. Um, this one's a pretty big, giant um, Disney coffee mug with Tinkerbell on it. Uh, always look at the bottom or anywhere else on the mugs. Make sure it has the Disney trademark so you can actually say that yes, it is a Disney mug. Um, and that's another tip for a lot of these mugs. This one is a Looney Tunes it's a Tweety Bird mug uh, always look at the bottom of your mugs um, most of the mugs that are gonna be worth something they're gonna have a lot of writing or something like this at the bottom look for your trademarks this one does have the Looney Tunes characters it also has the year on it this one's also in 1995 I always look at the bottom of my mugs uh, some of these like this one doesn't have anything but I went with it anyway because it was a vintage sports one but uh, for the most part, here's another Starbucks mug. It has stuff on the bottom. Uh, this is my, my favorite brand of mug. I still flip these from time to time. Um, I haven't been flipping too many recently just because I've been trying different things. Uh, taking risks. Got into shoes recently. Been having luck with those. Uh, anyway, here's another vintage sports one. 1987 San Francisco Giants, uh, 87 champions, Western Division of the National League. And again, check out the bottom. It's got the Major League Baseball logo on there, so it is an official Major League Baseball item. Um, so that's another good thing to look out for when you're looking at these sports ones. This one I don't think actually has... Oh, I guess it does have the 75-year of NFL logo on it, but I don't see anything that makes it official. Still a cool collector's item. And then another thing that I found out um, that are pretty decent sellers is for a while I was selling coffee mugs that had specific dog breeds on them. Uh, I found out that it was kind of making people think about their animals and they wanted a mug that had an animal that looked like theirs on it. This one's a Sheltie, but I've sold Rottweiler, Pitbull, uh, Boxer, German Shepherd. Uh, pretty much every breed of dog that I've found uh, on these mugs, and I was selling them fairly decent. About I, I've, I can't 
can't remember. I think it was about 10 or 15 a mug almost. Um, here's another one. I'm going to bring it up on my phone real quick. College mugs from um, colleges. Uh, you can get pretty decent money for those. I've sold quite a few from different colleges. It's either people have graduated from that college and that was something to remind them of it or they have kids or something going like I just sold these not too long ago uh, they're Northern Arizona University mom and dad coffee mugs I sold them as a set and you can see um, right there I sold them for 35 bucks for the set of two and I'll be honest I paid 2.99 for the set so you can see what the flip was there um, Here's another one. I only paid like a buck for this one. It didn't quite flip for as much as I wanted. But this one was an Oregon State Beavers. That one went for 10 bucks. Um, let's see. I think that's it for recent coffee mug sales. But I just want to put this video together, give you guys some tips and stuff. Um, Wish I could find. I had some other ones that were really expensive. I'll have to do another video. There is some that do sell for about 30 to 40 a mug. I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. I'll make another video so you guys will know. Um, that way you guys will know what to look out for if you're going to do coffee mugs. Especially for beginners. I think it's a great way for a beginner to start. Is just to start flipping coffee mugs because they're cheap. You're not taking too much of a risk on it. So I'd say if you're going to get into it, I would say coffee mugs and t-shirts are the two cheapest things. And they're kind of bread and butter items. Uh, you can sell quite a few of them a month and kind of get your profits going that way. Uh, until the next time, please like, comment, and subscribe.